you ever wake up and it hurts to go to work like dead ass hurts like like it physically hurts you to like get up and go to work i'm like i thought i've hated jobs before mm -mm, child mm -mm. not like this bro currently at work it is like three o'clock i feel like my biggest gripe right now is just like just with my job like it stresses me out so much so much and like it's it's, it's fucking crazy having to deal with grown-ass children basically like why am I 22 with more sense than like these people out here? And why do I have to sit here and have these types of conversations with you? Like use logic, use common sense. Like I understand you're upset, but like, and like y'all don't even know like the bits and the pieces of things, you know, like I'm not gonna bore y'all with like work talk, but just know that like, I'm, I'm so fed up. I'm so fed up and I just smoke, which is what I'm gonna do on this break. Um, I might not even eat anything, honestly, cause like, fucking killed my appetite. Like I need to go to Wawa, um, get like a Dutch or something. But it's, it's ridiculous, it's honestly crazy. The way that people talk to you, you know, like, like a personal pet peeve of mine is like what well, one of my you know pet peeves is rude strangers bro like like i don't know you you don't know me i don't see the reason for this hostility you know you don't know what the f when i sit here cuss you out yell at you over the phone for you know no fucking reason like and it's like these people don't understand like bro at the end of the day this is my job like that's it i get paid to be here i get paid to follow these motherfucking rules i don't make these rules and it's like people don't understand that you know and it's it's very frustrating to just be on this side of things and it's just like plus i'm young and it's like people don't take me seriously because I'm on the younger side of things, which is very annoying because I'm not stupid. I know what I'm talking about. I'm in, you know, like I have the responsibilities I have for a reason, you know, just because I'm 22 and you're asking for a manager and I say, yes, how can I help you? And you look at me like, you know, I have two heads like, bro. I got a little, I got a little mad. I'm, so I'm gonna cut that out because I really got upset. Because this man, like, who are you, bro? Who are you? Who are you to question me, my knowledge, and like my motherfucking position? And it's, you know, it's not even just him because, like, I had to deal with, you know, uh, my fair amount of dummies today. And you ever? wake up and it hurts to go to work like dead ass hurts like like it physically hurts you to like get up and go to work I'm like I thought I've hated jobs before mm -mm, child mm -mm. not like this bro not like this like this is next level for real for real like it that's how I know I hate this job like I legit wake up with pain bro pain and i know it's this job because like on my days off i'm i'm chilling and it's crazy because i'll still wake up like you know because like you have your internal clock sorry you have your like internal clock so like you know on my days off i still wake up around the same time i would if i was going to work 
and I wake up around the same time on my days off but I'm fine maybe it's the mental I, I mean that's what it is it's the mental of knowing I don't have to go to work it's so I'm relaxed I'm cool I'm good but it's coming here and knowing that I'm gonna deal with bullshit every day like every day like I'm yelled at every day so that I can roll up and decompress from this bullshit but you know um like wow that's a way to start a vlog wow yelling <laughs> yelling at the camera yelling at y'all you know but like I, i'm hot like i'm heated and i'm like let me fuck let me just turn this on let me let y'all know what i'm feeling because like <sighs> a little like fun fact about me bro whenever i get in the car like i immediately lock it especially if it's late like you don't know who is out here who's watching you like you could walk out of wawa and someone just be like oh she look good like oh they look good and just like try to snatch you up real quick <laughs> i am like i'm i'm sure shit like that happens all the time it's really cold i like these these are my faves but what's new is that i have a job interview a design job a design job not just not just look how my mood just fucking flipped but did a whole 180 bro just because like i have this interview i am so excited i'm so geeked um partially because you know i hate my job and like i really want to leave that place because the energy the energy is so bad it's not good for you it's not good for anyone it's not good for my mental like you know it's not good um so partially because of like i don't like my job partially because it's a design job and like that's what i went to school for so like i really just i really want to do what i love like i love art i love being creative you know i just i love being able to have that platform um or that i guess yeah platform that that opportunity and you know in this job i have now there's zero room for that zero there's no it's no no creative nothing you're just being yelled at all day on the phone so i'm really excited for that and i'm gonna kill it i am going to kill it i'm gonna kill it i'm gonna get this job manifestation bitch i'm gonna i'm gonna fucking murder this interview i'm gonna murder it it's gonna be great i can't wait um you know i'm i like i'm in the process of doing all of my research on the company um it will be able to negotiate my salary so i'm a little nervous about that because i don't want to lowball but at the same time i don't want to highball so i'm like doing research on like you know what like people in that position like people with that title like what they get paid in my area and stuff like that um so i'm pretty I, I feel pretty confident in what i'm gonna ask for um i just don't know the response i'm gonna get because like i said it's the like i've never done something like this before usually i just go into a job usually i don't even ask what the pay is because i'm i'm not awkward like i'm just like mm, please hire me i do need a job but yeah usually I don't even ask what the pay is you know even you know sometimes they'll tell you during an interview they'll be like okay this position is for this much an hour is that okay with you you know or you know and we've all been in those interviews and you leave and it's like i don't even know <laughs> how much i'm gonna be paid bitch so um yeah i'm not gonna i'm trying not to have that be this situation um i really i'm gonna make sure that i'm stern and the price that I give her, um, I don't waver, you know, um, but honestly, with, like, my experience, my degree, I feel like I, what I'm asking for, it makes a lot of sense, and honestly, I feel like if I wanted to, I could go a little higher just to see what, what might happen, but, um, I'm not gonna go too high just because, like, honestly, I'm afraid if I go too high, they won't hire me, and um minimum i just need to be paid 
at least what I'm making here so that I can, you know, support myself. Since the pandemic happened, this is the first job that I've gotten that is even remotely close to what I went to school for. So, you know, I'm very excited and I'm very scared because it I've been out of school for almost a year and this is the first company to reach out to me i mean at first you know of course the first like five or six months no one was hiring whatever um but it's you know it got to a point where it's like okay they're starting to let creatives back into the world you know now you know all of the you know non-essential bs that's not a thing anymore you know they're letting the creatives back into the world um so you know i start applying no luck and now I finally have some luck. So I'm telling everybody and anyone who will listen to me say it, but I got my first design interview since I freaking graduated. Okay, later in the day, did a little face mask and got my boxes. So we're gonna go ahead, do this real quick. Yeah, I'm just gonna take everything out of here and just try to pack that. And I have on this like face mask because I was breaking out. Stress. But we'll get started. We're gonna do this. Okay, I had to like pause real quick. I like took the stuff off my face, moisturized, all that. Um, so I did like a good majority of the stuff that's already in here. Um, so like now we just have these like three boxes here. Um, and I like pretty much took out everything that I had in here. Um, Andre and Bailey. Now I just gotta figure out where to put these boxes. And I think I'm just gonna put them here. I don't have, I packed up my shoes already. So I think I'm just gonna, um, sorry. Um, but since I'm like done, I need to find somewhere to put these boxes now. And I think I'm just gonna put them there where my shoe rack is. Cause like, I already packed up majority of the shoes, all the shoes that I, like I don't wear on a regular basis. I already packed them up. Um, so it's a pretty empty rack. So I think I'm just gonna like take that down and you know, I'll put my boxes there and everything else that I pack up will go there. And yeah, let's do that now.
Hey guys, so it's the day after my interview. Um, I'm currently at my current job that I hate. Um, I look like shit because it's snowing outside and I didn't feel like putting any actual effort into my face because no one's gonna come in with this weather. But yeah, I think the interview went okay. Honestly, y'all, like, I'm like qualified for the position. It's just a matter of fact of like, if they liked me, you know what I mean? Cause like, you could be like, you know, you could have all the like necessities of everything that you need for the job. But like, if your like personalities don't clash with people, uh, don't um, like mesh with the people that currently work there, then it's like, you know? Um, so honestly, I think that's just what I'm afraid of. I'm like, what if one of the two people who would be like, who I would report to, what if they don't like me? I'm like, that's totally, like, that's totally valid. Cause like, you, you know, they're like... They said that I should know in about a week if I got the position or not. So I guess we'll see what happens. Um, I'm really hoping I get, I got it. Cause I'm somewhere I can't stand, you know what I mean? But the interview, yeah, like it went pretty well. I, f I feel like, I mean, I know I'm qualified for it, but like I said, I feel like it's more of like a personality thing. And I tend to shoot myself in the foot sometimes when I'm speaking. Um, so like in the interview, I was like, yeah, you know, because she asked me, she's like, what's something that annoys you in the workplace? And I was like, well, you know, my current position, I'm a manager and I'm also 22, so it sucks that people don't take me seriously you know just because of my age and i'm like damn as soon as i said that i was like did i shoot myself in the face by saying that um so i mean i hope i didn't but we'll see you know because they could look at that and think that that's childish and I don't want them to think I'm childish. Like, that's the reason I said that, because I want them to take me seriously. But I feel like by saying that, I, I, I might have sounded a bit childish. But, I mean, he they liked my art. I showed them my art, and they liked it. Um, he said that I was organized, which he liked. You know, but, you know, I was that's not a front. Like, I am very organized. 10.23 um, a.m. I'm here until 9 p.m. Uh, keep me in your prayers because I really hope I get this um, I mean I'm still gonna be applying to other things until I hear something back from one but I'm really hoping that this is a, a remote position which would be very nice you know because then I wouldn't have to do with situations like this where like I have to defrost my car and wait for you know in the middle of a snowstorm do the, all these things you know and it's like I would rather just wake up take a shower Put on some jammies and sit out and do my work you know what i mean it's and it's like what i love to do i can do that from home like i don't have to be in like a building i mean it's nice to have a building to go to to like bounce ideas off of other creatives um but not like not in this dog like not bro not in this you know y'all tell me why i just had a whole ass breakdown <laughs> Because I opened up my computer and I had so many, um, wow, that's really loud. And of course, I'm the only one here working today. And all of a sudden, there's dozens upon dozens of invoices to look through. And of course, I'm the only one to do it. And of course, at the same time that it's it's doing that, all these people are calling. And of course, at the same time, these people are yelling at me. So like, this is the shit I'm talking about where it's like, you know, I have to do so, like, so much. Like, why? It's too much. Like, it really is. It's too much. Um, I had a, like, real life, real life. I'm really hoping that this is a situation that I'm really not in for much longer um because I don't know I don't know how much how much longer I can do this I really don't um like I just feel like 
this has really just been me stressing and talking about all of my stress and like i'm really hoping that when i get my own place because i'm not gonna quit this job just so you know because I, I i want my own place um but i'm really hoping when i get my own place that like one i'm not here and two that i can just be happier like i don't know like i, I really just i just i've never been so unhappy at a, at a location like this is ridiculous um i've been having conversations with like the people that i work with you know and they're just like you know this isn't forever they're like you know this isn't forever you know this is just a stop in your life you know which like i totally agree with and yeah like i you know but at the same time i'm here in this moment right now and right now it's it's not okay for me you know right now i'm being threatened right now i'm being yelled at like <laughs> it's it's really fucking me up y'all and like if y'all like anyone like even i don't like even at a home level like i feel like i could handle this at a home level because i know that my family would mean well i don't know the intentions of these people that are here you know so that's why i'm just like i don't take it lightly when you know they yell at me and threaten to do you know this that and the third to me you know i don't take that lightly and it sucks but ah i need to leave i need to leave and like y'all like i've thought about trapping i've thought about selling drugs like <laughs> just to get out of this like just to get out of here and like i just wish i could focus on like what i want to do and just be a creative um but i just need like something else you know because this, this ain't it this ain't it sis this 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 isn't it i'm unhappy <laughs> but i guess we'll see what happens